So in this video we're going to look at creating an empty CMSYS based project for our Cortex-M3. Uh, so by default the car microvision doesn't create this, you can build on other projects but here we want to create an absolutely bare project uh, not based on any particular architecture like an NXP or an ST. So here we have an empty project and the first thing we need to do is create our new microvision project. And under uh, choose a place to put it here I've created a directory called Kyle projects under there I'll create a new subdirectory which I'll just call base project and once we're in there I can give the project a name which again I'll call base project save that away and now I've got to choose the architecture so you can hear all the list here the one we're interested in is just a straight arm Cortex M3 so not any particular microcontroller and it creates me an empty project. There's, as you can see here, there's no source files in the project at all. So to force the emphasis, there's a core number of projects, a core number of files we need to create. And the easiest way I'll find in doing these is going and grabbing a couple of files that are supplied uh, with the Kyle environment. So we, if we look under the Kyle installation and then ARM devices, ARM Cortex M3, you'll see there are two subdirectories in there. There's an include subdirectory with a couple of header uh, header files and a source one with a C and then a couple of assembler files. So what we're going to go back is go and copy those two. So we do a copy and move those to the base project and just do a straight paste. Okay, we can now return back to our microvision project and the first thing we want to do is include one of the files we've copied across. So now we can see the ones we've copied across and it's actually an assembler file and it's the, uh, sorry, gone to the wrong place. We need to go up to the source file, ARM, and the start ARM CM3. So this file we add to the project. And if we look inside this, what we'll see is it basically has the initial configuration for things like heap size. We'll adjust these in a bit. Uh, but the main thing it has is the intro vector table for when the processor simulation boots up. And our key one is a reset handler here and the stack pointer here. So once we've got that file, if we now do a build associated with that, we get an error at the moment um, because it says there is no uh, definitions for the memory ranges. So the first thing we can do is add the memory ranges through the target configurations. The memory range we want first is we need to define some ROM, which we'll put at zero and make that a certain size, or just say 80,000. And then we want some RAM, which I'll put at the default vector and give us a size of 8,000 for that. I mean, they, those numbers can be pretty much any numbers as long as they're big enough to manage your project. Uh, ROM, you want at zero, RAM uh, up in that, that memory space. So now if we build, we're now going to get a different error because it's looking for a main, uh, which we don't have at the moment. So we need to create our new project a text file, uh, create a simple empty main I'll do the int main, I won't get into the discussions about whether it should be void or whether it should be int. Um, and here we're just going to have a, a, a while one, as usual, because we don't want the project to end um, associated with it. Ooh, and I hate the fact that Kyle doesn't indent correctly sometimes. So there we are. So now if I save that file and build again, save it as main.c into our base project. And one of the crazy things you have to do is you still now have to add it to the actual project itself so it doesn't actually get added automatically. So now we've got two files, main.c and our startup assembler file. Build again and we're still going to get uh, a symbol, an undefined symbol. And this is for another part and this is part of the CMSYS or CMSYS area is a system initialization file. That's applied to us again in another file if we add to the group, add files. Uh, we go to our, this is where our source file comes important and we want the system file uh, system. And that's our minimum number of files. Okay, if we start tree build that, we will get an error at the moment, the arm cm3.h, that's part of the Simsys uh, header directory. So we'll need to, that's needed by the arm cm3. So all we need to do now is modify the include path for the compiler so that under here, under the include path area, we'll find the correct error and we can do this by just adding that include subdirectory we copied across into our path. So now you can see it's part of the include, it's going to be part of the build for us. Okay, now if we build 
okay we have a uh, fully compiled project we could then debug if we can check we've got the debugger we're in the simulator so that's fine um, and I can now fire up the debugger and we get into the main uh, project associated with that and that gives us a minimum project and once we've got a minimum project we can then start building on that uh, which we'll look in a second video to see how to add things like SysTick and use the instrumentation trace macro for doing system output. I hope you found that useful.